This is Fox 25 Morning News. 734 coming to 735. VB's down at Beacon Hill Studio. Gino, you understand WikiLeaks and all that's involved with WikiLeaks? Uh, I'm not entirely, I must say, but I think I get the gist of it. But it's, right, well, uh, it's a tad confusing. There's a ton going on here, and that's why we've brought our next guest into the Beacon Hill studio, Steve Weissman. He is a professor at Bentley University, formerly Bentley College, and you're a lot smarter than I am, and you know what the hell's going on with WikiLeaks. First of all, what is WikiLeaks, and what is their agenda? Well, you know, it's questionable what their agenda is, but what they say is they're, they're just a website, and uh, they're against secrecy in government and in corporations. Bank of America's stock plummeted last week uh, when there was a threat or a concern that they were going to be the subject of WikiLeaks. So they're there to really provide information to the public. So they've got hundreds of thousands of documents that were never supposed to be made public by the U.S. government. Shockingly, we've got no guards at the door. They were able to get these things. They release them. First thing I notice is I don't see anything in these documents. I'm, I'm actually, I feel better about the United States. So did I. Not have, there, there's nothing in these things, unless I'm wrong. No, you're pretty much right. And that's one of the, the big issues. And it comes up, why are we classifying these uh, documents so much? There's a lot of stuff that doesn't have to be secret. And a matter of fact, that was a uh, part of the Pentagon Papers. They said, you know, that we will trust the government more when there's greater transparency. We'll actually have have greater secrecy. Frankly, I think the bigger problem is not WikiLeaks, but if WikiLeaks can do this, what can China do? What can terrorist groups do? We've got a real data security problem. Well, that leads to, it's not so much the main issue, which is what is in these documents, but there's all these peripheral issues now that are coming yeah. up. Number one, Diane Feinstein earlier this week saying, we've got to go after Julian Assange, the head of WikiLeaks, for treason. Yeah. Now, what is the likelihood uh, and what is the sense in doing that? You know, the likelihood is extremely low. The, the laws they're using, they're reaching, and that's part of the thing. We're going to go after him. What for? We'll get back to you on that. Yeah. They use the Espionage Act of 1917, a law that's so antiquated, and let's see how it was used before. A grandmother wrote a letter to a grandson in 1917 saying, don't enlist in the army. So she was prosecuted. So we were a lot safer then. There was a request to have it declared a terrorist group, WikiLeaks. Doesn't apply under the law. They're reaching, they're reaching, and there's really nothing there. Does the Espionage Act even apply? I mean, He's not an American. I thought that was for U.S. citizens. Maybe I'm wrong. No, you're you're right. It generally is. There is questions within the language itself if it could be applied there. There are also questions of intent. If they use the Espionage Act, they will lose. So it's uh, it's really very very hard to find charges against him unless you bring up sexual charges. Well, let's get to this: the rape charges. He's being held without bail on. Again, we don't know a lot about what's yeah. going on here, but what little we do know, this stuff is more than dubious. And if it was not Julian Assange, I dare say he would not be being held without bail. Is this a little Al Capone tax evasion? We'll get him on whatever we can get him on, and we're throwing the book at him kind of deal. Yeah, and if Julian Assange goes away... And That's fine uh, by these, me. Yeah, they're, they're, it's questionable charges to begin with. The holding without bail, perhaps, because he could be considered a flight risk. However, the charges are, are so dubious, and they're really, you know, we have to see what it is in a day in court, but uh, it really smacks of the, of the governments getting together and finding anything. On the other hand, now we hear that Time Magazine is seriously considering, so the leak is, him as man of the year. Now, is this the guy that you really want as man of the year? You know, maybe. And uh, I say maybe because we really have a problem with governments and corporations having so much secrecy. We've got the perfect storm here. We've got high technology technology that can get at all of this stuff. We've got a government that's closing things off and we have hackers that can get in. So suddenly everything's going to be transparent, which the president said he wanted when he went into office. 30 seconds left. Isn't the real problem here, not the documents, not how they got the documents, not who Julian Assange is, but the fact that these hackers are out there and yesterday they're shutting down Visa, they're shutting down MasterCard and they're saying, keep it up because there's going to be more. Isn't that the real problem now? That is the real problem and you're looking at something where it's more than WikiLeaks. We don't keep our data. The GAO, which uh, investigated data security, found Homeland Security and the IRS are among the worst offenders of protecting it. We've got a real surprise, danger. Surprise. Yeah, and the danger isn't WikiLeaks. 
it's us. Stephen Weissman, professor at Bentley University. Great to see you. Keep Great us informed you. as this goes on because I have a feeling it ain't going away. I think you're right. Quick timeout. Much more to do when we return. We'll be talking Carl Crawford some more. Don't you worry. We're coming back.